No man, we don't we can't punish the police. Oh we should punish that the police. That is what they are trying to do. Listen, no, no. Police is not Babylon. Babylon is a live. Right. You understand me right. more? You get right. this in your head, you know. So when you take by a Jamaica CD and you hear me burn Babylon, me have burn Babylon and I want you to help me burn Babylon, this leaf that have you have to Granny used to tell me all the time Sparks and feet and preparation combined The road been right here all this time But you gotta look with more than your eyes And the small axe Jesse Ryle representing for I Just Star Mindset Rich forever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk about the youth at Joan Stone with Steve McGregor. The police never force the youth to apologize on them. Right? No, 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 no. Me, me talk about in general because it's more than one time we see it happen. It's not yes, one. Yes, that's what I'm telling you. So, yeah. me, 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 I'm telling you about the first incident that you know the first time it happened. Yeah, was the youth who came from um, Joan Stone, and he's the one that apologized. Remember him lying and say it is the youth. That volunteer to apologize, you know. Nobody never forced him to apologize, you know. He's the one that did it, you know. You understand? He's the one that apologized to the Prime Minister because he know what he has done was wrong. Yeah? Look here. Um as as a people, you know, you say a freedom of speech, but you know, freedom of speech you must be responsible to. You understand what I'm saying? You know, you can't uh, disrespect your leader, your country, but what the police did. That's wrong, you know, you, you understand what I'm saying? You can, and the police, they never, what the police did to him. And the other youth now, the other youth, uh, the one in a sentence, he, um, the one that they, I don't even remember his name, something Higgins or something like that. The police, you know, they should not, I disagree with that action of the police, you know, when they went for him. You know, you're supposed to do that, but in the same breath, as people, we must have some form of decorum and respect and thing. You understand? Not because you don't like somebody or what they are doing. You know, you come out and you know disrespect them and them thing. If you don't respect your leader, you're not gonna respect yourself. So when you disrespect the prime minister, whether he's a labor right or he's a PMP, he's the leader of your country. Let me say you don't respect yourself. And if you don't respect yourself, it will lead to anarchy. You understand? So that's why that's how criminals behave, you know. Wrong is right, and right is double right. So they are never wrong. See. Freedom of speech, yes. Freedom of speech, but must have responsibility. People must do things responsibly. They must show respect. We cannot accept people where, you know, being willy-nilly and you know behave like anything goes. We have to have standards and everything. It's just like how a Rasta man respectful when say, you know, Empress, I and I, you understand? Rasta, all you say, one love, you yeah, man, and nothing but love and them things. You know, we want people to, you know, you respect the leader and them things. But what the police did in it, even the one in the centre, I totally disagree with what they did in it because at the same, at the same token, you know, remember, you know, both political parties you know, like the police, you know, so when the police went and arrested the youth in a sentence, what they were doing, they was doing a bidding of the Prime Minister. We don't know if they were instructed to do it or they did it because they saw the video and they knew the, the maker of the video. You know that wrong? And the police are supposed to do that and everything. But people must respect themselves. And you know, if you respect yourself, you're going to respect your leader. We well, want that, you know. Whether you like them or not. You understand what I'm saying? So I saw, I, 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 I saw the, 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 the leader thin skin that him, him would add that the police would go for a one man just because no, that, how much, how much, other, how much that. other people probably have said the same thing that him not seen. And you know what I mean? He's a Nazi? No, that is him not seeing them. You know what I mean? On a video or hearing them um, on an audio. You know what I mean? But they're, mm -hmm. they're out there saying, you know, saying the same thing. You know, mm -hmm. him, 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 him can't lock up everybody, or, you know what I mean? Send police. No, 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 mm -hmm. no. We, we do not support that, you know. We support freedom of speech. But freedom of speech comes with responsibilities. If you gonna, if you, as a person, don't respect yourself, 
you're not going to respect others because whatever a person emits out of their mouths, you know, that is what is in their thought process. Is, if I don't respect you, you know, yeah. if I do not respect myself, this when I am talking to you and I am being disrespectful to you, when I am doing that, you know, that is showing that I have no respect for myself you know, mm-hmm. by disrespecting you. Yeah, man. So you base on that, base on that, that's, that's, you know, that, that person from somebody do not respect themselves. I'm not going to respect others. So when I'm going to tell her next man, say, him for go suck him mother and them thing. Eh? The person who's telling the other person to go and suck him mother, eh? him not respect his mother, you know. Because if he respect his mother, you would not tell another person to go and suck his mother. You understand? For real. So it's simple. Whatever a person image from inside of them, that's a reflection of them as a person. So you have to respect other people. If you don't respect yourself, you can't respect another person. It's just like if you see a next person and because you and them have a difference and Jamaicans on a whole, Jamaicans think after them do the act. Them not, them not think before them act, you know. Them act, then them think. If you know it's the time them do think, they must say, boy, I'm not even, you know, to me and them think. And them cannot control, they, they are very impulsive. And the reason for this is because there's no consequences within the community and it's become wider. It's just, it just the, the narrative has to change. You have, the first you have to do is respect yourself first. From you respect yourself, you're going to respect everyone else. And you have to learn how to disagree to agree. Anyone that I, you know, that I come in contact with throughout my life, and I agree with everything that I have said, and I am saying, that is a person that I am very afraid of. So, so um, I cannot, I cannot be right at all time. You may ask you, so all right, car. Uh, we speak patwa, and you know what I mean. You, 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 yeah. you, you will see police go up on the stage. On certain event and 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 a take off like artists because they might you know what I mean deem course, bad word. deem a word as 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 bad word and at the same time is is a is is a word that is used by by every Jamaican you know what I mean so mm-hmm. uh, 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 you see that as police work them something there yes. Okay, you have to understand, you know, to maintain order and discipline, you have it start from the small things, you know. Like what? Um, expressing yourself? Simple as that. Just as like express, I'm just telling expressing you know, yourself. If I'm, so, if I, so you can't express uh-huh. yourself, you know, you know, you know, suppose if you have freedom of speech, you're, the, you're able freedom to express. come with the responsibility. What responsibility is that? The responsibility is that you're supposed to a portray, project a certain decorum. It's not the police that build, uh, make the laws, you know. So if, if police is arresting uh, um, someone for using foul language and stages and stuff like that, they're just following the law. The police, the police can Right now, remember one time you could go to jail for smoking ganja. The, the, the government get rid of that. The police can arrest you again for smoking ganja. So the, it's not the police fault. If you people, if the if the government wants, you know, people to cuss, um, to use profanity, per se, publicly, yes, let them repeal the law. The laws are there in the books, so the police, the, the, the books, so the police are just enforcing but the, the laws. The police, you can't. the police, no, no, say so that is not profanity. Like, um, if a man say bomb buckler and rascal and all of them something. Them thing they just well, things they just normal things that Jamaicans say. You know what I mean? Yes, and and, and some some, yeah, of, some, is... some of the time it, it, it might be in a funny way, Zane. And then so, some of the yes. time it might be in a serious way for kind of emphasize, put some emphasis on what you're saying to like, you know what I mean? Ease off no mm-hmm. man or stop that no, you know what I mean? Right. But well, you have to understand that the police, the police still have a role to play in society. It's the law, so they have to follow it, they might enforce it. The police cannot look and look at culture and say, boy, this is a part of our culture and them thing, and it's handed down to us from slavery. 
You understand? The good things that, 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 that were handed to us from slavery. All of that, we have abandoned it. No, me not. After slavery, after slavery, you know, the good thing about after slavery, you know, is that we were united as a people and we used to love each other. After slavery, even after slavery, if a man thief, the other slaves don't have nothing to do with him. You're an outcast in the in the in the community. So everything start is a little it starts from the little things, you know, that you do in society. And that's it will normalize certain things. So that's why the police enforcing the law. If the if the, if the government don't want to put them repeal it. The, and the, the, if the police were lawmakers, I can tell you. Believe you me. And I am going to tell you this now. You see the laws in the United States of America. If Jamaican police have half of it in Jamaica, and I want you to listen to me carefully, we would have more police shooting in a Jamaica justifiable. You let me repeat myself. If Jamaican police have half of the laws that the police in America have, laws in Jamaica, are privilege. The Jamaican, the Jamaican police would have killed more criminal, because in America, you know, it's simply you know, as this. If you are fight a police man, you know, can when we say fight him, physical fight him, you know, him can shoot you and kill you, and it's justifiable. If a policeman has stop your car and put him hand in the ear and you are you do not stop, he's justifying shooting the per- everyone inside that vehicle. They are so if Jamaican police had half of the laws that the American police had, Jamaica would kill at least four thousand people every year easily. But 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 we there 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 but that that in America because yes. most people that die by the gun of police you know in America is black people mm-hmm. you know no I that's where you're wrong that's where you're wrong look at the statistic it's mostly white people police kill police kill white in a, people in, a, in, a, in America schizophrenic. yes don't listen to the blue hands them I am not here taking up for American police and saying this I am telling you the facts look at the facts American police kill more white people than black people. Now see, white people is the majority. Seriously, police kill police police kill even a white man last week. Who is schizophrenic? The parents them call the police in Virginia and for them to um to take them so, um to get some help. And when I went there, the man was behaving belligerent and them kill him. Police kill more white people in America than black people. The only reason why and, you and, see and, the and black that's, people. And, and that should be justified. What the police then kill him? Yeah. Well, he might attack, he might attack the police them, you know. I wasn't there. He oh. attacked the police them, and the police them had to you. The police them had to defend themselves. That's why police them say and the the, the bad the, the, the police camera came out and the district attorney said that they supported the police officers. You understand? I see it. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know, if the Jamaican policeman had the, the same laws in America, I am telling you that they would have killed more Jamaican than than the gunmen, them. even unarmed people. So, let me ask you this. When we say the other day in a Jamaica, the Jamaican police, them are protest saying that... Um, um, but pay. Them, them, them need money. Is that another um, reason why you have a lot of criminals in the police force? No, it's well. You see, even uh, you see the demonstration done by the Supreme Court. Yeah, I'm like, oh, you bring it up on them thing. Now. That would have come like that. That, that demonstration that was ill-advised, and it only showed that the police have gone down to a lower level. Police normally don't behave like that. That demonstration was a political demand. It was not nothing to do with any race or peer or anything like that. The, 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 the chairman of the police federation lied to the members. Even the police, the, the hierarchy of the, of the federation, all of them are political activists. Because remember that these are the same people, you know, the chairman you know, and the police federation. You know. When the PMP were in power, you know, they sign uh, if i hear anybody assigning a contract that's even raymond wilson who's a deputy superintendent of police you know 
you ever hear anybody assign any contracts so that people get zero percent increase that's the same chairman right there now the guy in the glasses um that name rowan james that's the same man who signed a zero percent increase the police who you know get zero we're not talking about coronavirus you know and what they went to court for he knew that what he was doing was lying to the police them because everything that he was complaining about was already ironed out within them and the government so it was just politics so in case you do not know you see the police federation why well, i'm sorry you're not going to talk to um a person who used to work there even the, even right there is corruption it's 15 years ago when he, uh, Raymond will suspend the owner. They call him Bulldog. 15 years. And what he did for the 15 years? He did nothing for the police. All he did there was to can the police them and get himself promoted. You understand? That's all them to sell out the police them and everything. The guy who is there right now. And if he had any decency, he would, he would, he would resign. But there's a detective carpal. Um, who used to work at Unspeed named Evan Blake. He has a YouTube channel named um, Evan, Evan Blake Police and Poetry on YouTube. And he did he did a, a commentary about the police them demonstrating down by circuit court with placard and everything, bringing the police force into disrepute like police are common and corrosing by having the police them and police behaving like hooligans but them want them pee and this and and there was nothing for them to get and the chairman knew that and when everything came out from the court and everything he was lying to the people why he did not resign all of the people them all the executives of the police federation should have resigned because they mislead the, the members and the full full police them who went down there to do that is nothing better than the people them from the communities um, where police kill a gunman and then go out there and demonstrate. Why are you doing that? To make you look like fools. After you did everything, then the court come out and say, well, when I demonstrate for it, you already sickled that already with the government and there's nothing else for you to get. You understand? So what are you demonstrating for? Because it's all politics. The chair, you have to understand the chairman of the police federation and the entire um, hierarchy there. They are all politicians. In case you do not know, you know, you see CIR, you see CIB headquarters where they call Glasshouse. When I was a detective, you know what the criminals them used to call CIB headquarters, PMP headquarters. Willie Aga tell me that. Um, Buffy, I don't know if you ever hear about Buffy. Buffy is the guy who is responsible for men killing Jati, that's Dodo's brother. Buffy is from Speed Corner. Buffy is the guy that used Red Rear. Red Rear from Whitfield Town, a, a, a white youth, to kill Jati. They kill, they kill Red Rear in prison. Criminal or not, they say, you know what them call CID headquarters, TMP headquarters. And I'm like, why is it that? We say, yeah, man, we make the, um, the PMP government, make sure say, all of the top police, them, we have PMP, a them down this, on them thing there. They are the one that make all the decisions when they come on to um, investigating criminality and stuff like that in Jamaica. CIB headquarters, they call it PMP headquarters. Um, you, 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 you was involved in um, trying to um, extract um, Dodos from out of Tivoli when that, 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 that incident that they take place. They, 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 no, I, no, 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 I, was, I wasn't there. I was. At that time, I leave the police force over oh, over six years. At the time, at the time when with Dudus and I, I was in the hospital, in the military hospital, recuperating from my injuries that I had received in 2010 May. So I was listening to the entire thing via, you know, Facebook and in communication with other police officers. You understand? But hey, look, you know, some people, you know, they said based on the Jamaican laws, it was an illegal extradition. All he had to do was to just, um, was to just comply and complain. You understand? But the thing is that, you know, everything is all politics. And, you know, most people don't understand. Do those, do those 
although I'm a criminal, whether or not you want to believe it, and the PMP you knew it, you know. Dudus was the only criminal, you know, the only person in Jamaica. The influence that Dudus had, no politician in Jamaica had, had that influence, you know, that he was able to get even people, um, um, people from PMP community to vote for Labour right, you know, in the 2007 election, you know. You, you didn't know that? No, 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 no. Uh-uh. Okay. The only thing Bruce Golden in the election is is that influential look at some of the seat them where labor right them win I'll, you understand it was one man dudus if you notice when dudus was the dudus could have stopped even a war a man to go be that's how influence which politician you know have that influence at jamaica so you know forget with a man like that if him have that influence dangerous criminal you know and he's he's he know to strategize you know you will never see a likes like him anymore you know, because him have him have that aura about him where the criminal them look up to him. Which man in a Jamaica here he able to garner over a hundred men willing to take on the security force of Jamaica to defend one man? Not even not even Skengdan could I even uh, make that happen. Or Danai Williams. A man m- people leave from all over Jamaica say the man that's how they revere this man. And, and look, not even a scratch happened to do this. How many people there? How many people? But some of the men them, who died, you know, it was the same people in Tivoli Guard, the same gunmen them killed them. You, know. you understand? What do you mean the same gunmen them killed them? The si- All right. I had a schoolmate, you know, who was oh, from the same Tivoli bad man, was- gunmen them? Right. Well, well. Yeah, man, same gunmen them. And he was dear to one of them things. He was a police officer and he dead in a prison. My schoolmate and me have come from Tivoli Gardens. I mean, I tell you this. In 1986, when I was going to high school, I'm a friend of them. I used to play cricket and them things. And I tell him he used to play cricket with police and in the Japan Jamaica team one time. He died in prison like three years ago. And in 1986, we were going to high school. You know? And a week before them robbed the um, HTB, um, the bakery at Anatole. He told me the week before you know, that they might rob it, you know. And surprisingly, you know, he never come to school the Friday, you know. And the Friday night when I was listening to the news and I hear yes, them rob the bakery, you know. And I said, wow, so I didn't know that. But he was there too. And it was after in the coming, you know. It was after the Tivoli incursion. Him leave the police force, you know. Yeah, he was there during the encouragement and them things, you know, because you understand. Bright is a guy where bright. He didn't have to, you know, start living a life of crime. And him, the reason why he leave the police force, you know, and become a criminal. Because even when he was at jail at half a tree, I used to talk to him. He used to call me and them things, you know, but I never put any credit on him from jail. And I'm telling you, even things that before it happened, he, he to, he, you know, he had, he had told me then. You have a woman who come from um, from um, Walton Park or 33 Walton Park or then he called Muma. Before Muma um, was killed, he called her, he, tell, he told me you know, that they were going to kill her and all them things there. You know. A lot of things. He was in jail and I was able to um, pass on this kind of information. Me. Tell me a whole a lot of things. So, put him in you know, what? What propelled him you know, to leave the police force was after when Indy come and he said that he saw what I was happening and he left the police force. The man told me that him, the, the amount of money that he had made since he had left the police force, he hadn't earned so much money being a police officer. So it was more lucrative to him to be a criminal than to be a police officer. It's a police woman shot him in his hand, you know, one of his hands why um he end up and then being here why he end up um in prison and it was, and the reason why he said he did not want to kill the police woman because he was a police himself you know but he was able to escape with his gun and everything like that when he was talking to me man he was like a movie when See, the man tell me uh, you right. understand yeah yes i um bad man and police Zane, the, mm. the, there's, there's always this narrative that um, 
police work with 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 bad man in the community like how like them pass on information like you know so you bad man so you bad man, like what kind of information i don't know any any form no, of information no, because no, you, have to, you have to be you know like uh specific what right? pass on information about people who are giving the police information yeah because all right a virgin a virgin can in an altercation with um a, 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 a particular person zane mm-hmm. and yeah it kind of get out of hand the per one of the individual reported to the police next yeah. thing you know when by the time he reported to the police by the next day him gone missing uh, I have to wonder. I wonder if the police leak some information to some bad man. Well, but what you? I cannot dis. I oh. cannot dismiss what you are saying. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Because even in a the, even right now in a Jamaica, we see a trial did a go on with um the known um bad man them in a spanish town yes. and 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 you hear that even police and soldier is is involved in these involved type, in, in involving these type of criminality so it, these things are happening you, you know the trial alone i show you said these things is happening. i expose yeah, i expose that yes what you're saying there is true you know? mm. and 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 let me tell you this no criminal or no gang cannot survive without the help of the police the clansman gang could not balloon to be, become this monster in jamaica without the help of the police the same police them as Spanish them. Same police them. Some police, where well, you people, and even people in Jamaica say, eh, them fight crime. Them police, they are criminal. Because they were on the payroll of Donovan Bulby. I am, I will elaborate later about it. You have this guy when he James Hines, who was the butcher. Um, when they kill the people, they might tread that part. They love to cut off people. Yet. I know James Hines very well. James Hines is the first cousin of the guy when he called G- Bitty Hines from Catburn Pen. And James Hines told me, he was the one, he told me, you know, that was in the early 2000, you know, police officer, you know, police were officer where people respect, you know, but him used to give money to, you know, take money. Can you tell me, you know, say, uh, if it would Bulby had to send two million dollars to two noted top rank police officer at Spanish Town for him to live. Police officers at Spanish Town knew where Bulby was. Police were protecting Bulby. And you understand, Donovan Bulby Bennett. But I'll see that for another time. So no criminal cannot survive without, without the help of police. So the reason why the Klansman gang balloon to this, uh, to this monster in Jamaica, it's because I police. Because the police were benefiting from these guy, um, guys' crime. Because the same police them bad mind the business because they feel like the, the business people supposed to uh, give them a certain amount of because they make more money from the criminal than the business people. So that's why they didn't do anything about him. And these guys they commit murders. And they get out, got away with it because the police were in this uh, on their payroll. They make crazy money. Two million dollar every two million dollar every week is it come is the same poor people you know who have to be paying um, these gunmen you know this ex- extortion money you know. So when people you know the same poor people from up by um, Pine Hill. Or uh, whatever come to the whole sea like Spanish town and buy stuff. What they are doing, you know, when they buy, you know, they are funding the clansmen them criminal activity and they are paying extortion fee to them when they buy stuff from them. And police benefiting from it. 
So why you think so that oh, I'm, oh, I'm the most wanted man in a Jamaica? That's why I could not go at, um I could not work at protective service, you know. You understand? When that Bulby was wanted, you know. Every PMP conference, Bulby was at National Arena, you know, with the Prime Minister, you know, EJ Patterson, you know. Police who work at protective service and him did there with the legal gun, you know. And police couldn't even touch him, you know. What kind of society is that? Because they are part of this cabal. Police were making crazy money. Why you think Renita? I, I can't tell you this. I mean, you man attack talk anything. It's when I knew Renita Adams. Renita Adams was an inspector at Alpha Tree Police Station. And all Renita Adams used to do was break up old, um, the poor people them style. Afghans and Springwood every Thursday night with 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 metro uh, with metropolitan police them and them people. Yeah, Bro, mash up them style and me used to see him as this little idiot police and everything. You know. So when him go Spanish town and become this not um not you know notorious police officer and everything, you know, he did not reach that zenith you know, because of him. You know. He's a policeman, two policemen. One of them dead, one of them I used to work with him, near Ludlow Mort. And in the long run, you know. Um, things happened to Ludlow, him, Ludlow would um, die. So there's so many things with these people and things. As a policeman said to me the other day, said more, um, he said to me, and, and I am, you know, he said to me that most crime fighter, porter, a thief, noted crime fighter and things. And he said, boy, one thing I can tell you, uh, he called a, pol a policeman when he Morgan, a detective sergeant, him, you know, he used to work at Centre and he said, him say, boy, I can't tell you, say, you, Morgan, and he said, Gunter, hear police say, why are Gunter so fool, you know, because he's not, not even a, not even a day and day drink Gunter we take from somebody where he not know, even if all, a policeman friend a bite and them thing, you understand, and he said, weird, you're weird a good police and them thing, because the man is not afraid to tell you nothing, good police, you understand, that's why his brother was a crime chief at Hunsbeard, right now. I have a squad when you um, are and Anthony Russell and all them things that we I inspect that. You have good police in it. Let me show you why why the police force do not care for honest police. Introducing to you now a hot reggae song, No Lies by artist Mosiah, available on all digital download platform, Apple Music, Spotify, available now, no lies by Mosiah stream now smash that subs button see you on the next video i just start the mindset <laughs>